Could this be the last ride in the 2023 electric Lime Tacoma? Let me explain. We are in the 2023 Toyota Tacoma out cruising around today. The third generation, there's now a fourth generation out, if you didn't know, the 2024 Tacoma. And a situation, a possible opportunity has arisen for me. You know, I've talked in videos about getting the 2024 Tacoma at some point this year. And originally I thought, well, I'll wait till the hybrid version is out and we'll get that one. But then I had a second thought that maybe I should go ahead and get just a, the regular uh, four or two, four cylinder uh, turbocharged version and uh, have that for a little while so I can compare it to the hybrid version once I get that. And that's kind of where I'm at right now. Still not really in any big hurry or anything, but if an opportunity presented itself and the right truck became available, maybe I would go ahead and get it sooner than later. Of course, they're in high demand right now, so it's kind of difficult to get what you want, particularly when you're being uh, picky about what it is that you want. In my case, color, trim level, I could go with an SR5, probably my third choice at the moment, uh, a Sport, the TRD version, or the TRD off-road. I wouldn't go any higher up in the trim levels than that. Uh, although I don't know that you could really get much of anything else right now anyway. Maybe a limited, I don't know when the Pro's gonna be out, who knows. But I wouldn't be interested in those. So. I made, uh, I did a live stream the other day where I kind of talked about this. Well, I did talk about this. So I thought I would recap it in a regular video for those that didn't see the live stream or just don't watch live stream videos. So here's the short of it. Got a call from my dealership, told me that they have access to two solar octane or orange new 2024 Toyota Tacomas. Now, they are at other dealerships. It would be a swap or a trade with another dealership. It doesn't really matter to me as long as that doesn't add cost to the deal because I'm not paying any more than MSRP, and I hate to even say that, but you can't get one for less than that these days, particularly the brand new 2024 version. So anyway, was told that they have two that they can put their hands on in solar octane, both of them are TRD Sports. I drove the Sport, if you saw my video on that, it was my first drive, I think the first drive at the dealership of the 2024 Tacoma, uh, and I liked it. I liked the comfort of it, the ride quality of it, the power of it, I mean, all of it was pretty darn awesome. I thought, you know, Toyota really did do a, a good job with this, and I'd never know that it was a Turbo 4 if I didn't know it was a Turbo 4. So I don't really have any big issues with that. And I know one of the big uh, fears out there is that the Turbo is not gonna last long, it's gonna be a problem, won't be good for towing. None of that matters to me because I would be trading it off at some point for the hybrid version anyway, and I don't tow anything. I really don't haul anything of any weight anyway. So none of that matters to me. I certainly though can understand those that have a concern about that because you never know it's a brand new truck until it's out for a while and you and I test it in the real world we don't know how it's going to do so anyway what would happen is is if I can get a good deal the deal that I want uh, good money for the electric lime this is a 2023 it's got 2085 miles on it it's like a brand new truck but I would have to get good money for this truck and then at least or no more than MSRP on the new one. And my dealership knows this. I've been forthright about that. I have stated to them and in videos that, you know, I'm not going to pay more than MSRP. I did that once in my life. One of the dumbest things I ever did. I will never do it again. So I would trade off the electric line, thought about keeping it in conjunction with the new one to kind of do a side-by-side -side kind of thing but honestly you know I have experience in the third gen so I certainly can talk about that from an educated stance right and you can see the breadth of videos that I have there are many so I don't really need to have a third generation to know what the third generation is I can easily talk about the 2024 fourth gen uh, in comparison with the previous version not a big deal I've even had the second gen so not really an issue for me and I don't really
really have the room. You know, I'm not looking to have a used car lot set up in front of my house. So it would go, it would be a trade-in. Now, timing on this, when would it happen? Well, that depends. You know, again, I'm not aggressively looking. If I were, there are other dealerships I could go to. I mean, I prefer to go to the one that I always use, which is Bird Ogden. I like the guys there. Um, always been a good experience, like the salesman. So I'm not looking to do that, but I could. I mean, I could go somewhere else if I was aggressively looking uh, and pick one up. But I'm gonna wait until one shows up at my dealership uh, that I'm interested in purchasing. So if this doesn't work out and I I don't like what they what they are offering or what they have, and by that I mean what packages are on them or what the specs are. Currently, at the time I'm making this video, I don't have the specs or anything on either one of these trucks. There are two, by the way. One is four by uh, four. By four with some sort of a package added to it. Of course, that's gonna increase the price. The other is a four by two, and I don't know what it has on it. I'm sure there's probably some sort of an option package on it, but I don't know at this point. And the argument about four by two versus four by four, if you live in a winter climate, I get it. It's nice to have a four by four if you've got snow and ice and all that. Although I lived in a winter climate for years, I never had a four by four until later on in life and I never had any issues. I survived. So do you have to have it? No, but it's one of those peace of mind things. It's one of those, you know, it's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it kind of things. I get that but I never needed it in decades of driving. So not a big issue for me. As far as lifting and bigger wheels and tires and all that stuff, you can do that on a four by two. I've done it myself. If you saw the Barcelona Red or one of the, the magnetic gray metallic trucks that I've had on the channel in the past, they were both four by twos. I lifted them, I put bigger wheels and tires on them. I didn't have any issues except for fuel consumption, but I'd have had that whether it was a 4x4 or 4x2 or not. The benefit of going with the 4x2, there's two. One, I don't have the extra parts, more maintenance, more cost, and, and two is uh, they're lighter by about 300 pounds, I believe, don't quote me, something like that. Whatever it is, they're lighter, so they should be or feel a little bit quicker. And if you watch my channel, you know I like a little bit quicker. So that's where I'm at right now. I don't have any further information at the moment other than I'm waiting to get the specs on these two trucks to see if they satisfy what it is that I'm looking for. I do have a, a minimum list of options or features that I want that I won't buy the truck without. So we'll see if they have those things or not. One other option I do want to mention real quick because it's gotten a lot of interest on the, the drive channel or the drive, first drive, can't speak, first drive that I did with the new Tacoma, and that's the electric seat. Not a big deal for me if it doesn't have that. I mean, you know, I set my seat the way that I want it. I'm the only one that drives the truck. Nobody else gets in here and changes the seat around. So I'll use it basically one time and I'll never use it again. Why have it? I don't know. Anyway, I'd appreciate it if you left a comment down below. It could be a simple yes or no. Should I, assuming all the specs are right and the deal's good, purchase the 2024 TRD Sport Tacoma or not? A simple yes or no. You can add more if you want. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.